Hey everyone, so today we're gonna do my weekly shopping list and I'm gonna show you how my thought process is through uh, my making my weekly shopping list. And this is gonna be different from my last video where I did purchase everything um, specifically for the dinner plan, but this is how I usually do it. Um, this is just going through my pantry, making a meal plan and a list from what we already have. And that is where the last chance, the 50% off um, and the cheaper deals come in, where we stock up, we keep that in the freezer and that's how we use it. So this is just an example uh, from one week. This is not how we eat every week. This is not how um, you're supposed to do it. It's not what you have to buy. It's just an example and this is just one week in our family's life. So let's head into it. Okay, so I have written down what was on my uh, phone list for what I just write down when I remember it so that I don't forget. And I've categorized it through like the milk aisle, the fruit aisle, uh, the freezer, stuff like that. And I've just written down those things. So now we're gonna go through and um, add stuff that I think is missing. Um, then we're gonna go to the dinners. This is where I check like the status of the oats, the flour, the rice. I do have um, rice up in the cupboard, so I will refill that. Um, pasta here in the back, I do have more. I have more of this. And tortillas were fine. Uh, flour, I do use a lot when I bake bread, so I am gonna add, I have actually added flour and sugar on the list. Okay, and then here, like this is usually all fine. I add stuff as I go. So when the list on my phone, that's where I add things like, if this is almost gone and I, anticipate using more then this is what i add but i'm not gonna add it now because i don't anticipate using this um chips we might actually this is all stuff that they kind of didn't like um i think i am actually just going to leave it like this and uh, we have a eurasian party tonight with the kids and i'm gonna hope that they eat some of the stuff that we don't like we have plenty of candy plenty of like waffle mixes that's all good and then like i don't add i'm gonna get noodles they, those are on the list um pineapple oliver loves pineapple just from the can um this is plenty for the week Sweet and sour sauce. This is also where I kind of take stock on what I have, what I can use for dinners. So we could do sweet and sour chicken, sweet corn, um, tacos. We do have that. We have lasagna. We have plenty of pasta over there. Um, this is my sister's when I do meal prep for her. Tortillas. Those are my specific noodles. So that's all good. And then in here is where I check. Cashews is fine. This is fine. Chia. Um, that's fine for now. So I also think, like, do I need to add this on the list this week? Or can I do it next week? Um, so this, like, when my week is all tallied up. And if I have not reached 20,000, which is, like, my goal. Now it might be more 23,000. I'm not sure yet. Um, but then if I would be at 15,000 and I'm completely finished, that's when I would use the opportunity to add stuff like this so I don't have to do it next week. But if I am close, that's when I try to minimize things like this that I might not need right now. Sesame seed, like, I know this is all fine because usually I add this on my list in my phone when I see that stuff is missing. So that's good. Um, bread, I have plenty in the freezer, and then the fridge, we're gonna take a look at here. So I have plenty of all of this stuff, I took some salami out of the freezer, this I got on last chance. And then I took out 
well that was one i took the cheese out i did get this on last chance as well this was in the freezer those are my sister's vegan yogurts i have some of these so this is all fine i do need i don't need any sauces i need jam that's on the list pepsi in here okay tomatoes are fine i need i have iceberg on there i have cucumbers on there apples i need red bell peppers so that's what we're gonna add and then to this side potatoes this is all stuff that i do need to use this should all be good um here are some leftovers i'm gonna do this barley like rice pudding tonight i've never done it but the kids were requesting it this is all last chance from iceland um the store iceland so this is all gonna be used um tofu those are uh this is leftover pizza from yesterday the pitas we definitely need to use those so those will go on the meal plan milk is on i might do this for lunch tofu with this sauce because the kids like tofu but david does not um <laughs> this is on i need one more of these and that should be fine i think add on here in the milk aisle happy milk all right and then i will just quickly grace over this to see if there's anything that i think is missing from like the daily stuff we have for this weekend we have plenty of candy that i did get on last chance as well this is like how i do it i stock up from there so we have plenty of candy there that was in natto and that was on last chance so i got plenty of it and i'm hiding it up there so that it won't all get eaten coffee beans are fine and i'm not buying like all of the stuff that might be missing because that's what counts so fast so if i'm buying like like i don't have um pizza sauce or pasta sauce or whatever that's the stuff that's gonna add really quickly because i might not even be using it this week and this is my extra extras um cupboard and in here i do have plenty of pasta sauce i have quick carbonara for meals that are like you know the nights where we are lazy um i have this for ice cream this weekend chickpeas those could be utilized for a chickpea curry um it's not actually my kids favorite so that's where this comes in the kids like this but david does not and i do not so we like chickpea curry so i could do that for us and the pasta carbonara for them and now the freezer so this is where the big meal plan happens in here 30 percent off chicken i have some ground beef i have another whole chicken these were both 30 percent off and i have um chicken fajita okay this is good we might do just burritos with chicken i have some chicken breast i have more of these these could also be utilized for my lunches um i actually don't have anything for lunches in the fridge for this weekend so i'm gonna thaw this um this is what i do usually for quick lunches for me i do one of these veggie patties in the air fryer and i just wrap it into a tortilla with some veggies um hot dogs we have um these are turkey legs that i actually kind of do want to use this is fresh salsa that my sister made for me and i have some salmon in there hamburgers and this is chicken thighs so plant me in here for this week that's gonna be fine um this is the ice cream i was talking about this is hamburger meat that i did get on last chance last week um jalapeno poppers they don't like this um these are vegan chicken nuggets um 
they got kind of sick of those a while ago so i have just been storing these and i'm gonna store them a little bit longer um these i'm gonna thaw for this weekend ice cream can go back in here um in here blueberries these are just for leftovers cinnamon things we got this on last chance as well i have baguettes bread this is all getting kind of empty these are more of the same as this so i'll keep that in here this is non-bread and in here i have plenty of veggies oh yeah frozen mango this is what i always need to have i have this is all sort of what i eat for sites for lunch I will add, no, this should be enough for the week. Uh, garlic, more ice cream, more blueberries, um, cherries. Uh, those are all my apple things that I made, um, like purees. This is a cake thing. This is the banana bread that I bake and I always put this in here and just take it out as I need it. More bread. This is the Parma ham I got on last chance and I will keep using that. Up there is all my sister's stuff um, from Last Chance. Pepperoni, this is fine. I always get this in Costco here in Iceland. It is cheaper. Um, and cinnamon thingies that I also got just given. So yeah, I think we have plenty in here. Um, so things that I want to use up. I want to use this. This is looking kind of sad um i'll put this in here so that it's obvious this bread could be with a dinner of some sort instead of a baguette this is a prep tortilla or like a burrito that i made i will eat that soon um these buns i could do like grilled cheese for tomorrow for the kids I'm gonna take this out as well and yeah right, so this is where we start the meal plan I'm gonna write here dinners and I usually do about five planned dinners and then um, the rest is just like fillers so I'm thinking with the fajita chicken I'm definitely gonna do um, burritos or tacos um, my older son likes tacos the other one likes burritos so we'll do taco burrito and then um chicken strips all right so that's one of them and that's where i'm gonna think what do i need to fill up on this meal with and i do need some sour cream um, i have salsa i have veggies on the list um, so sour cream is the only thing that we're gonna add. So that's where we go over here. And I'm gonna do the 10% one for this. All right, next meal. I am gonna do the whole chicken, chicken roast, and I'm gonna use the potatoes from the fridge because they need to be used. And then with that, we'll have a salad. I have all the stuff for that. And I do have mushroom gravy and brown gravy that we do like to have with that. This is not written correctly. So for this meal, I need nothing, which is great. Um, for this meal, we will definitely have some leftovers. So we will have chicken leftover. So I am actually going to do this meal first this meal second, and I will save those chicken strips that I defrosted for lunches or something for me and David, because the kids usually like, you know, grilled cheese or like eggs for lunches. Um, they don't usually want chicken in the daytime. So that's where we're gonna save those. And either you would just put these back in the freezer and save them for another time or not. So for this, I will make um, stock from the chicken bones, but I'm just gonna freeze the stock for this time. 
uh, because we did have chicken noodle soup last time. Uh, but you could also make the stock for a different kind of soup. Um, oh, I just remembered I need carrots. Oh, I was going to do the chickpea curry. Chickpea <clears throat> curry. And the pasta carbonara for the kids. And for the chickpea curry, I need um, coconut milk. I don't have coconut milk. I have all the other stuff, um, the veggies that are going to go into that would probably be, I think I would like carrots, leek, I have leek, I have carrots, so that's fine. So we're going to add in the can aisle, coconut milk. Number four, I'm going to do hamburgers. And they do like fries with that. I didn't do that last time. Fries. I don't have fries and I don't have hamburger buns. So for this one, I am actually going to need most of it. Um, but I do have a lot of hamburger meat in the freezer. And the sides for this are not expensive. So, okay. I did ask David and he requested uh, teriyaki mango chutney chicken. I have teriyaki sauce that I actually um, don't prefer. I prefer the one that I get in bonus. So I might get that. I'm going to see how much it is. I will write the teriyaki on there with a question mark. I have the mango chutney. I have a different teriyaki. I have the chicken breast. I have the rice. So teriyaki chicken well wow, pretty so i don't need anything for this meal so we have five complete meals that's fine number six oatmeal and number seven leftovers slash grilled cheese or we could do noodles or we could do uh, just like a charcuterie board of stuff that's left in your fridge. I do that all the time. I just put like an uh, almost empty container of olives. And then I slice up some lunch meat. And I toast up some bread. And like all the stuff that, that you want to get out of your fridge. And then I just place it at like 5 o'clock in the living room. And they just like eat all of it. So that's it for this week. That's what we have. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all of this as best as I can into Cronan, the app. And I'm going to see how much this tallies up to. If this is a lot higher than 20,000, that's where I'm going to make some changes. So I'm going to do that now. All right. So I just enter everything that I have on my list into the app and i just do some price checking if something's more expensive than the other thing um i might go for a different option but some of the items are not available in uh, cronan or bonus but i just put something in that's similar in price so that i can see the total price like the cornflakes uh, those were more expensive and i know they have the off brand in bonus so I did go for that instead. And yeah, that's sort of how I do it. And um, if there's something on there that's not available, like um, it's sold out in the Cronan app, then I will still add something different, just that the thing that's the same price so that I can still see the total. Uh, because I usually I know like roughly the price. Like a little bit later, I do add grapes and they had grapes on offer. I know that's because they're close to date and I am specific with our grapes. So I did just add the more expensive grapes in there because I know I was going to get um, both colors of grapes. So I did add two of the grapes. And there I'm, I was checking the teriyaki sauce um, for the price, but I didn't end up even buying teriyaki. And I always go for like the store brand if possible. Um, Surimi, we did not end up getting that either. 
um, but that was sort of the only thing. I didn't end up adding the teriyaki sauce into the app to get the total. Um, eggs are super expensive now, but the these are actually the same price as the usual white brand in the in the bonus store. Um, Cronan does uh, charge per piece, so. Um, like for vegetables and stuff. So that's there. I am checking the grapes, the prices. Um, iceberg, we didn't end up getting that. Apples, like you can see there, they charge per piece. Um, so apples were definitely less expensive when I did go to bonus. Um, yeah, for for that the same because I know I did add, add the kilo of carrots in there but they only had the 500 grams in bonus so for about 500 kroners and there they do not have the app for the soda water that's the six pack so there i have to add six pieces and that does come out um more expensive i believe i think we will see that there in the end no actually it does come out about the same price as the six pack in bonus so um, that's my total so far there and it did up end up being cheaper in bonus So now I have made um, the plan. So now I'm gonna put this on to like dates. I'm gonna write this better um, I've put everything in the app. I've taken a photo of this in case I forget the book um, So that I'm not stuck there with nothing. All right I have made this new list and I've dated it. Uh, we don't actually have to follow the dates, but it is helpful for when you're using leftovers for the next meal. So tonight we are actually gonna make this uh, big grater, the like big the barley rice pudding, um, just because the kids requested it and I've already soaked the rice. And then we are gonna be grazing a lot because we have a Eurovision party. So that's for tonight. Then tomorrow the roast chicken because it won't be thawed in time for tonight anyway. With the potatoes here we're going to use the leftover chicken for burritos or tacos if we don't have leftovers that's fine we'll just use beans and rice um i do have chickpeas and i don't think bonus has they don't carry black beans um if they have pinto beans i might pick up one can just to have but the kids prefer the black beans anyway um we have actually also just used ham or like just whatever in there. Um, Henry often just wants vegetables and sauce in his tacos. Tuesday is gonna be teriyaki mango chutney chicken with rice. Uh, Wednesday is gonna be oatmeal. Um, I'm putting oatmeal here because we have had a lot of nights of like complete meals. And then uh, Thursday is gonna be chickpea curry and the kids will have a pasta carbonara. Um, Friday, of course, they can have the chickpea curry if they want to, um, and we'll probably have leftovers of the chickpea curry that can go towards lunches. The same will go with this. The same will go like if we have leftovers here. Friday is going to be hamburgers. Usually, um, I have like there's going to be extra for leftovers here, but I did add this one. So usually Friday is like the last day, and I do something easy here because we. Um, go to bonus that's where we go to bonus so I do like to have something like hamburgers or like pizza or something that's easy to check in I often have tortilla pizzas or something like that and um, I use grated cheese because it's easy but I only get like most of the time I only get grated cheese when I see it 50% off and I throw it in the freezer but now I don't have any in the freezer and we have plenty here so let's go shopping so you have entered the bonus store with me and we are just starting from the vegetable aisle and the fruit aisle getting some carrots and um, they had only two cu or three cucumbers left in there i don't know why but they both looked fine so i grabbed two um then the grapes i went for the ones that were underneath because they did look better and I did get both colors. We love our grapes. Most looked fine. And then I went for uh, the bell peppers. They were actually not looking like the best, but they were fine. Dates, fresh dates. Um, the kids like those for lunches and I also am planning on a recipe for that. 
I got the last bag of the hamburger buns. I would have gotten the other brands um, instead or actually went to Corona to get the cheaper brand if the other ones were more expensive. For that, the polar bread, it's less expensive to get the big one. And then I just part it up and freeze in three parts. Bananas, those were looking kind of green. So I did get ones from the bottom, like just singular, three single yellow ones to add to my cart. And there I was just checking liter prices to see um, the brands of soda water. Sometimes they change the prices, so I just wanted to be sure that I'm still getting the best price. And then I'm crossing off. This actually helps so much to have it in categories. This is their last chance aisle. There was nothing fun in there. Um, I have gotten those fuzzy socks for the kids before. I did get that, I think, last time I went. So this is my protein drink. I do put this on my cereal. And I was lucky enough to get this in the back. I got five milks. Then just the rest of the dairy I had was all sort of in the same place to make it easier. And I did add to my list this Greek yogurt. They don't always have it. I got the last one, so I did want to pick that up. And there I'm checking prices. This one does seem less expensive, the protein one, but I just realized it's 175 grams versus the 200 grams of the little bit more fatty one. And I do feel like this one, the light one, goes further than the protein one. For example, when I'm adding it to soups or something. Do check your eggs to see if they're broken because we don't want broken eggs. They're too expensive right now. You can check the underneath if it's wet. That does usually mean that there has been some leakage. Cheerios, it was the same price in Kronan. I got the two pack. Um, that's all they had, but still it is less expensive to do that. And for cornflakes, they just added this brand and I really like it. So I got a container to have at home for it. Um, this is the one I usually get. It's more expensive. But the Euro Shopper, for, for example, it's the cheapest one. But for some reason, I don't like it. I feel like it's um, a little bit salty. So this is the sugar-free jam that we use. We use a lot of this. Flour, necessary. Always need flour. And I did get some sugar as well just to stock up. Crossing off my stuff. And the last thing was french fries. All right, so I just got finished in bonus. My total was 15,393, which is really good. Um, the only thing that they didn't have on my list was the surimi, the imitation crab. Um, but that's fine, I can use something else. I have shrimp and stuff. I make these noodle soups sometimes, the Asian noodle soups, um, just for myself, like for lunches or something. So, but that's fine. Um, so I did want to mention, if you do find this number, this low number discouraging somehow, that um, if you don't have a stockpile like this, even though you really should try to get stuff like the chickpeas, I got um, a case of them in Costco because the price per can was a lot lower. So if you need to buy the chickpeas, if you need to buy the whole chicken uh, for about 1500 if you need the hamburger meat, um, and if you needed cheese this week that like I already had and I had ham, maybe you can, like that's, it's still gonna end up as, at a low cost. Like you can get the 20,000 per week. That's my goal. Um, now it could be 22, 23, 25. It's still low for a family of four. So whatever your budget is, just pick a budget that that's within your means and st and stay there. So if it's 30,000, just do that and stay within the 30,000 a week. And as you saw, I did get a lot of soda. Um, maybe normally other people aren't doing that. We're having like a Eurovision party tonight and we actually do drink a lot of soda water and stuff like that. So that's like 3,000 of this price is just the soda. So if you're not a soda drinker, that's 3,000 more, that's two whole chickens. So just remember that and maybe, like I've said before, um, 
maybe you don't have to have everything every week. For example, um, for sandwiches, maybe this week you could skip the cheese and just have um, like jam and uh, butter, cream cheese uh, and the ham. Or this week you could buy the cheese and you could skip the ham and the cream cheese and just have uh, butter and jam and cheese on your sandwiches. Uh, something like that. So like for this week, uh, the only fruit I got was bananas and apples and oh and grapes. Grapes are expensive. They were actually, I have to check, I think they lowered the price. 995 per kilo. I think that's a lot lower than it used to be because I paid 682 per thing. That's that's low. I'm usually paying so much for grapes. So maybe we're getting into grape season. I will be super happy with that because grapes are like usually like 3000 on my cost per week because we love grapes. Um, yeah, let's head inside and take a look. All right, so we're back home and this is the haul for the week. So I am gonna put, I think the prices just in the description bar. Um, I might put them somewhere up here, but this is a little bit more than usually. So um, the French fries, that's the only thing that's gonna go in the freezer. We have the bread, the breakfast cereal. This is gonna last a while because it's a double. Apples, bananas, um, all of this stuff. The grapes are really good. Um, the milk, this is for the barley thing that I'm gonna make for tonight. That's why I have the fattier milk. And yeah, the refills, the restock. Hi. Hey. I have a lollipop. <laughs> Say it. One thing I did want to mention is with the polar bread. I put this in three different bags. I put one in the fridge and the other two in the freezer. Okay, that's it for this video and um, we have plenty of food for the week and of course we have stuff in the cupboards like most people do already that we can utilize if in case we need anything else.